Hello and welcome to another update. In this one, I'll be covering the latest developments throughout the front line. Let's start out in the backward direction, where we here see some Ukrainian forces advancing and fighting within Andreevka. In this video here, the Ukrainian forces are seen moving through the village and whatever is left of it, there is a few piles of stone throughout the village and that is about all that is left of it. With this footage, we can confirm that the Ukrainian forces have control over the village. All of the sources who have talked about this for the past few days have not provided any evidence. So this is the first video evidence of the Ukrainians actually capturing the village. And as such, we now see that the Ukrainians are entering a new stage in the battle south of Bakhmut. Because with this, the Ukrainian forces can now start focusing their forces in the direction of Andreevka and move northwards of the railways. So similar to when the Wagner forces were fighting through the north of Bakhmut, where they started pushing through the railways here to the north of the city and all the way down to the Bohdanivka and highway areas. Now we see that the Ukrainian forces have reached their railways and as such we may see them push both northwards and southwards from this position in the direction of Selenopilia, Kordyumivka and to flank the Russian positions here to the north of Kreshivka both through the northern positions but also the eastern positions by the high grounds. So with this, the Russian hold on the high grounds east of Kleshivka as well as the fighting over the northern outskirts of Kleshivka will most likely end soon in Ukraine's favor due to Andreevka falling. So with Andreevka now again in Ukrainian hands, this is the first village the Ukrainian forces have captured since the start of the offensive here to the south of Bakhmut. So this counteroffensive of the Ukrainian forces is now in a stage where they can start advancing in a different way than at the start of it. Previously, they have been moving through fields, minefields, and a lot of artillery shells. Now they're in a position where they have better cover and better positions to fight the Russian forces. This is why we're seeing them holding on in a better way, and the Russian forces have been unable to conduct any proper counterattacks, as whenever they try to do some, they are end up failing, similar to when they stormed the fortifications to the north of Lyshevka. This is because the Ukrainians now have much better positions than what they had a month ago, and therefore the Ukrainian forces are now able to hold their positions, solidify the control, consolidate their gains, and now move forwards. And then we move on to the Vermelsky Ledge area, where here the Ukrainian forces have managed to advance in the northwestern direction of Novomayorsk. They've managed to fully capture the river line to the northwest and are now fighting over the river line to the southern positions and in the forest patches and forest lines here in the southern direction. And moving onwards to the Novomayorsk area, they haven't gained a foothold in the direction of the northwestern outskirts yet. They're still heavy fighting over it as the Ukrainian forces attempt to gain control over it. But the Russian artillery is fighting them heavily, trying to prevent them. And in this direction, you have to remember the Russians actually outnumber the Ukrainian forces. And then moving on to the direction of Robotine. We here see that the fighting continues in three directions, to the south of Robotine, to the east of Novokopivka, and to the west of Verbove. So the fighting is again situated mainly around Verbove, where the main parts of the Ukrainian forces in this direction are trying to break through the Russian defenses, capture the trenches to the west of Verbove, and actually attack the village itself. So in the past few days, there's been heavy fighting around Vibove as the Ukrainian forces send wave after wave of infantry in the direction of Vibove, trying to capture the trenches and storm the village. And if you compare this part and section with Bakhmut, you may think, okay, they have been passing through minefields just at a larger scale, longer distance, and now they're entering areas where there are better positions and as such, they should be in the same or uh, similar position to that of Bakhmut after the Ukrainian recapture of and Andreevka. However, the issue here is that in comparison, the Russian forces have a very long defensive line and the Ukrainians would only hold parts of it. In the Bakhmut direction, there's large areas in between the two sides, similar to where Bova Novofedorivka or Novova Novokopivka. But in this scenario, the Russians have this whole connection between these two villages and therefore it is not the same. 
the Ukrainians will definitely have a much better position if they're able to capture the fortified positions here to the west and southwest of Verbova. If the Ukrainian forces want to hold a similar position or an even better position than what was at Bakhmut, then they would need to fully capture Verbova and the fortifications here in the center all the way to Pechenchina and Captain Prokopivka break through the area of Ilchenkova and capture the fortifications in between these two areas. So this whole area needs to be under Ukrainian control if they want to solidify their hold over this uh, area and if they want to have some sort of minor success through this offensive, they have to capture this whole area. But so far, at the very best, it seems that they may be able to capture the Verbova direction and this area here, unless they are able to capture these trenches to the west of Verbova at a very fast pace, allowing them to then make an armored assault down to the second line, capturing it as well before the start of the rainy season. Because the issue here for the Ukrainians is that currently they are unable to push through and make a path through the anti-tank ditches and the dragon teeth lines to the northwest of Verbova due to the Russians still holding positions by the trenches here next to it. This will allow them to just destroy any Ukrainian attempt at capturing the areas. So until the Ukrainians actually have full control over these trenches, it will be very difficult for them to actually push through with armored units. So the Ukrainian forces are forced to capture this and then push through with armored units. So they need to capture this a, at least a decent time before the start of the rainy season, because if the rainy season starts, then they will be stuck in the mud trying to capture the next parts, because their best chance at actually capturing the whole trench area in between the south of Novokopivka and all the way east to the current positions is if they actually go around it. And if they want to go around it, they need to capture these trenches as well. So it will be step one, capturing these trenches and Verbova, step two, capturing this area, and then step three, capturing this part due to the step two. And as such, they would have a somewhat successful uh, operation as they would have broken through the first line of defense and actually hold positions across and be in a position where they can actually defend their gains. Because as it stands right now, if the offensive ends here, the rainy season begins tomorrow, then the Ukrainians will not be able to hold their gains and the Russian forces will be able to counterattack and pressure them heavily throughout the fall season and then pushing them back to their starting positions and then laying new minefields and so on in preparation for another push. If we move back north towards the direction of Marinka, we see here that the fighting continues, although there seems to be no gains. And we see through this video here that there is some sort of MLRS strike on the Ukrainian positions here at the very western outskirts of the area. It seems to be right here. So the Ukrainian forces are being heavily bombarded in this direction, which indicates that considering it is the very western outskirts of the city, that the Russian forces will likely capture the remaining parts soon. And as such, we may see that the Russian forces will end the Battle of Marinka. There was some uh, reports of it a week ago. See that the Russian forces have so far not been able to capture the whole city, but we are closing in on the final weeks and days of this battle. And that is going to be all for this update. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.